This is the jib crane that I built, and so can you. Why do I say that? Well, because I filmed myself during the entire process from start to finish when I was building this, and I'm going to make those videos available on DVD if anybody wants to follow along and make their jib crane. The other reason that anybody can build this is that all the parts are available online over the internet, so anybody in the world should be able to make this jib crane. Also, it's not difficult. Uh, basically, all you have to know how to do is drill, tap, and cut your pieces, um, and that's basically, and how to measure, and that's basically all you have to know uh, how to build this jib crane. You also don't need a large space, and you don't need a lot of tools. The space I used is just a very small portion of uh, our garage, and basically I was using a bench grinder, a vise, a drill press, then I did have a band saw that I used, but you can use a hacksaw. I did use a metal break from time to time, but there's other ways for you to bend the metal. And I did use a lathe on certain instances, but you don't need to have a lathe to build this uh, jib crane. So once again, anybody that wants to take the time and the patience to build this can build their own jib crane. Another feature of this jib crane is that the entire jib crane will break down to a piece no longer than three feet. So nothing on the jib crane is three feet longer. And in this case, I have one three foot section for the pivoting point, then I have another three foot section here, and then another three foot section here, and then I have the end where the camera platform is, is at. And the way it works is I have what I call a stub. It fits into the boom, you lock it down, you take another boom section, put it over top, tighten it down, get another stub, put it in, and I call this a Build-A-Jib because you can build this jib as big as you want to. Now I'm using the smallest diameter size that's available, which is an inch and a half for the stub, an inch and three quarter for the boom, but this material does go all the way up to three inches in diameter. So you can build your jib crane with three inch diameter tubing and just build as long as you want to. This is the jib crane disassembled. This is the 14 foot boom plus counter boom, and it would reach up to 16 feet high. And these are all the pieces of the entire jib crane, uh, from the panning bays to the end of the video heads. In fact, there's both the video heads here. So this is everything broke down. Nothing is longer than three feet long. And um, you know, here are the stubs, and it doesn't matter which stub you'd pick up to put into which boom, everything is interchangeable. And this small compact area uh, would contain a 14-foot jib crane. One of the features I built into the jib crane is in the panning base, I have a brake. Right now the jib crane is locked, it doesn't move, but if I loosen the brake, it will turn from side to side and then you can lock it back down if you want to keep the jib crane in one position. Another feature that I designed into my jib crane are safety pins. If you look down the yoke on each side, there's a row of holes. And what you do with that is if you're jibbing up and you're afraid that you've, in this case I have a ceiling fan, I don't want to accidentally hit it, you determine the highest position that you want your crane to go and then you insert your pin and then it will stop against the pin before it gets into the ceiling fan. The same thing is if you're coming down and say you have your camera above water and you don't want to accidentally get into it. You just put a safety pin down below and you know that your jib crane will not go any lower than that position. Something else that I designed into the jib crane is the, uh, not only does it have the control arm, so whenever you jib up and down, it keeps the camera platform level, but I also have put the cable system in. So you'll be able to turn the camera 360 degrees. I'll show you how that works in just a moment. Uh, my concern was that the further you go out, whether this cable system really would work. And I had, uh, I had the jib up to 14 feet out, and I was turning a heavy camera, and it worked just fine without any problems at all. If you want to use the cable system to control the camera platform to rotate your camera 360 degrees, you will need to move the, remove the control rod. To do that, you just come out here at the end and remove the bolt. Now the end of the jib crane will rise because you're taking weight off and you'll have to uh, 
readjust the balance, but you take the control rod off, push the pin back here away, and now that quickly you can rotate your camera 360 degrees. You can change the speed that the camera platform will move when you're jibbing up and down simply by moving the control arm to different hold positions. You can also change the speed that the camera platform moves up and down out at the end of the jib crane. Just simply loosen the bolt and thread it into the next hole and that will change the speed when you jib. After moving the control arm, if you need to make adjustments out here, you can simply turn the control arm to the proper adjustment. When you make that adjustment, a lot of times your camera will no longer be level. To take care of that problem, you simply loosen this locking collar where the camera platform is on the end of the jib crane, level your camera platform out, tighten it down, and now you're ready to go. If you need to make adjustments at the pulley, you do the same thing. You just loosen the locking collar, adjust the pulley, and then tighten it back down again. There may also be times when you want your camera to be out of level position when you start your jib. So if you loosen the locking collar, position your camera platform where you want it to be, tighten it back down, then you're ready to go. There's even more adjustability. Over here, you can loosen these bolts take your camera platform off and you can move it to two other selections to change the speed that your camera will automatically tilt. Also with these holes here, if you're not using them, you can take a zip tie and secure your camera to the platform. Even though you're bolting your camera to the platform, it's always a good idea to have a backup system to secure your camera so it doesn't fall off of the jib crane. To help your jib crane operate as smoothly as possible, whenever you mount your camera, you should balance it, meaning when it's at rest, everything should be level. That's what these balancing holes are for, is to move your camera backwards or forwards to get your camera balanced. A lot of times there's not enough of room to push your camera back or forward, so I've made this adapter plate that will bolt onto the camera platform so you can push your camera as far back or as far forward that you need. Sometimes at the end of your jib crane, your camera platform won't be level. And a lot of times you'll see on a jib crane that they'll have a ball mount so you can rotate your camera and level it. Well, that adds weight to the end of your jib crane and you don't want to do that if you can help it. And in this system, you don't have to. With the stub and the boom system, you just loosen this tightening bolt, level it out, and tighten it back up, and you're ready to go. When building the jib crane, I made different camera platforms. I call this one my two 45 degree angle camera platform. This is my 90 degree camera platform and these are interchangeable. You can unbolt the one and bolt the other one in its place. This is what I call my heavy duty camera platform. And what's nice about this system, as long as you build everything to the same measurements, you can remove one camera platform and then just put another camera platform on in its place if you need to. When you build your jib crane, you don't have to build a really long jib crane. You could build a nice little three foot one like I have here. Now you can still use different heads like this one here that has the pulley on it so you can rotate the camera 360 degrees or still use the control arm. But I like to use the heavy duty platform when I'm in a three foot configuration because I like to mount my camera at the end of it and then I can stand out here and get some really nice smooth shots and all the controls are at my hands and if you happen to have a doorway dolly you can get some nice dolly shots. You may have noticed the doorway dolly that the jib crane has been sitting on. I'm trying to finish that up. Um, I make a lot of my own equipment for my video work. Uh, this is what I call a telescoping mass camera system. Um, you'll be able to put your camera on this. It will act like a tripod, but it's actually a monopod. You can take your hands off, get rock steady shots off of it. And then within a matter of seconds, you can elevate your camera to eight feet high and get shots over crowds and then it will fall back down. It will also come out and go on to different uh, platforms. So I'll be doing a video on this also. But the point I'm getting at is that while I made this stuff, 
I do not claim to know how to build a jib crane. I am not certified in any way. I don't hold any degrees of anything. Uh, this is just stuff that I have picked up doing things. So if you use any of my ideas, you do so at your own risk. And I am not liable for anything you make or do. As I said earlier, I filmed myself from start to finish building the jib crane. And if you're interested in those videos, it covers everything from start to finish. There's eight videos, uh, about seven hours in length. And uh, one disc covers the uh, panning base with the brake and the uh, yoke platform. Two discs cover building the yoke. Uh, another covers um, building the boom and the uh, stubs. Another one is building the heavy duty camera platform. Another one is building the A or 90 degree platform. Another video is building the 245 degree camera platform. Another one is making the pulleys, the pulley arms, and the connecting rods. So if you're interested, please get in touch with me. Uh, you can check the, box, the description box down below that will give you the details. Uh, to keep costs down, uh, you would just be getting a DVD that I write on with a magic marker in a paper sleeve. That's what you would be getting in the mail. And like I said, you can get one, you can get all of them. It's up to you. Also look on YouTube the balancing plate that I made for the end of the jib crane, the actual video that's in the package, I'll be putting that on YouTube so you can see what my videos look like to see if you might be interested in following along and making your own jib crane. So if you're interested in that, please get in touch with me. And if you happen to decide to make your own jib crane, I hope you do and maybe it'll turn out better than mine.